Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 3x3 test tent with another unboxing video. It's another one from Vipar Spectra. We are sticking with the 3x3 theme. So, let's get into it. And there we are, look at that. Let's take a look at the accessories and everything it comes with. So this is what you get inside the box. Uh, first off, you got your driver here. Yeah, good look at the driver. It's like uh, Le Food? Le Food. Must be French. <laughs> There's the particulars on that. And this is a, a, a hangable driver. You can see it's got the hangers there. So you can hang that from the top of your tent. Standard uh, watertight connections. Super nice. We got the uh, power cord. And then we've got an accessory box here. Let's see what is in here. Oh, these are always nice to have. There's your 20, uh, 120 to 240 adapter. There's your very robust hanging kit. Look at that. That's beefy. What else we got in here? Rope ratchets. Oh, Vipar Spectra brand. Look at that. Vipar Spectra. KS series rope ratchets. Are they metal? Oh hell yeah they are. Look at that. There we go. Super cool. So then we've got the manual with some stickers. So you got Vipar Spectra always growing. Some cool stickers and then these are also stickers on the side here. So you can logo your your light up if you'd like. We've got the, uh, the user, user's manual here. You can see it says uh, Samsung LM301H and Osram 660s. Killer, man. That's the whole KS, KS series. The 3000. You've already, already seen me test. Uh, what was it? The 5000? The 4x4 light. Safety info on the first page. Bunch of crap. Uh, KS3000 specifications. Go ahead and pause if you'd like to read any of this further just kind of documenting this for people to take a look at if you've either bought the light and lost the manual or you haven't bought the light and you just want to read all this stuff that's in the manual without buying it so there's some par maps planting suggestions mounting suggestions there it shows you how to mount the uh, the driver there to hang it oh warranty can't skip over warranty uh, they actually have a pretty good warranty uh, three years on the KS series uh, doesn't come or cover damage and, and whatnot of course if you uh, if you get your light super wet and uh, it dies it's not gonna really uh, cover that uh, within 30 days uh, they'll uh, just straight up replace it or give you your money back uh, after 30 days they're gonna repair it and everything's everything's for free like they show it right here we'll send you the light back to you after fixing it all for free so no like paying like shipping here and there and everywhere or paying for parts and not shipping or paying for shipping and not parts it's it's everything right there all for free prepaid shipping label hell yeah good warranty kudos on that so that's it there let's uh let's take a look at the uh the light here let me get this off the tripod we'll take a quick look at the the light itself it is a bar folder it is a four bar folder there again you got the uh samsung lm301h with the Osram, actually says so right on the board, right there. You've got nice, nice stacks of diodes. Look at how many diodes, and you can see they're uh, they're spaced out so that the uh, they're bunched up more at the edges than in the middle, which is a, a thing that a lot of companies are doing right now. They figured out that they want to help alleviate the hot spot in the middle, and they want a little bit more towards the edge. So they are bunching those up. So pretty cool, pretty standard. 
Um, everything hooks straight into the driver and uh, be good to go. Let's go ahead and get this sucker hooked up. All right, guys, we are back and we've got it all hooked up. We got the driver hanging right up here, super easy. And then everything's right down here. Excellent, excellent looking bar light. Killing the game. Looks like quite a bit of red too. We got three uh, three sets of red on each board. And then there again, we've got uh, the diode spacing. Much tighter on the edges, much looser in the middle. And then it looks like we've got cool white, warm white, a standard two to one ratio on the uh, warm white. And then some 660s. And these are all Samsung LM301H diodes and then uh, Osram on the reds. That is just killing it, man. Killing the game. Awesome, awesome. So let's flip on the uh, the four corner par readings. We're at the uh, the minimum here on the driver, right there. And we're already in uh, seedling and clone territory. Look at that, 167 to 173, somewhere in there. This corner, of course, is going to be low because there's there's literally no reflection. These two corners are going to be a little higher because there's lots of reflection. And then this one's going to be kind of in the middle because it's got an okay amount of reflection. So uh, that's uh, kind of how the readings are going. But that's, uh, that's pretty good. Let's take a quick center reading. 193, 168. That's good spread. That's really good spread. If that continues throughout the whole thing, this is going to be a good test. So let's go ahead and uh, kick it up the next notch. It uh, goes 25, 50, 75, and 100. So I'm, I'm at 50% uh, now. 50%. Now we're in uh, pretty much veg. Pretty much veg territory. Oh, yeah, I guess I should. I, I keep forgetting uh, right away to tell you guys on the, uh, the height. Um, meter, meter. Here's meter, meter. So we're at uh, 21 inches off the deck, which is a 20 inch canopy because the, the uh, sensors are about an inch tall. So 21 inches, 20 inch canopy is what we're looking at right here. And so this is at 50% at a 20 inch canopy. We're already in veg territory, 330. That's perfectly fine for veg. That would be, uh, that would be great for me. So. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Let's kick the center reading out here. Oh yeah, look at that. That is some good spread. 384 in the middle, 332, 330 in the sides. Only 50 par difference from the middle to the outside. That is excellent. That is excellent. These lights just keep getting better and better, guys. This is great. Even the cheap lights are killing the game now. This is nice real nice so let's go ahead and kick it up another notch go to 75 there Not if you can see that very well so 75 now we're at like high veg super low flower is where we're at 480s somewhere in there 420 over in this corner this corner is pushing 420 right now killing the game uh, 480s in each corner Center reading, 560, 550-ish, 560. That's awesome. That's still great spread, only 70 par difference from the corners to the uh, middle. That's really, really good. So we only have uh, one notch left. We go to 100%. We'll blow it open, see if we can flower with this sucker. And survey says, ding, 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 ding. We can flower with it. Look at that. 655, 660 in the corners to every single corner. 655 to 660. That is killing the game. Center reading. Bam, 750. Man, that is good. Only a hundred par difference from the corner to the middle. That is awesome. Guys, 
I can't stress enough how awesome that is because there's so many lights. I mean, just go look at the last video that I tested. The very, very last video that I tested. Same height, same everything. We're looking like a thousand in the middle and like 500 on the edges. Like this is the way it should be done. This is awesome, man. So we're pushing what? 300 watts in this three by three space. That is not a lot of wattage for a three by three space. And it's doing a great job. Like killer, hella, hella killer. Way to go Vipar Spectra with their, uh, with their warranty, their coverage and the quality of the diodes. This thing's a no brainer for me, honestly. This may be my top three by three choice light right now. I don't like to pick favorites and whatnot because I mean, obviously just about anything that hits par is gonna work, but this is really, really up there as far as uh, even coverage goes and then diode quality. It could be a little bit better on the driver, but honestly, I don't think drivers go out very often. I haven't had a driver go out in I don't know how long. Um, I've had diodes burn out, but I haven't had a driver go out in years. So I kind of am, am starting to, I used to be a stickler for Meanwell, just Meanwell, 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 Meanwell. And then Sosin came along, starts producing some really good shit. And uh, Inventronics comes along, starts producing really good shit. And now it's kind of like, well, the driver isn't as essential. Um, it's all, of course gonna involve some of the efficiency and whatnot. But when you've got a price point like this, and you've got LM301H diodes and Osram, I can, I can sacrifice a little bit on the driver, honestly, honestly. So I think this is a pretty good setup, killing the game. Uh, make sure you check the, uh, uh, the codes below, discount code if you wanna pick one of these suckers up or if you want some more info. Uh, make sure you share this video too. Uh, YouTube's being uh, kinda a-ho right now and uh, not really not really being nice with the views and whatnot. So uh, make sure you share this out to everybody, get it out to everybody that you can. Uh, anybody that's uh, that you know that's growing, that is uh, looking at grow lights, just send them my way. I've got over a hundred videos testing grow lights and uh, they can get a really good idea of what they can get in their space. So just share that out there. If you would guys, please, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pull out the spectrum meter, spectrometer. Zeroed out. And survey says, hell yeah. Look at that. Nice 660 spike. It's got quite a bit of blue, but not too much. Don't let that big spike there fool you. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of ones that are, have a big spike like that in the blue. It's just really intense blue. You can see in the, uh, the makeup here, we're looking in the red spectrum, about a two to one ratio, about what I said. Far red, 16. Infrared, it's, it's showing one infrared. I didn't see any infrared. I guess that's just kind of like passive IR, just through the other, the other spectrums. And then a little bit of UV passive as well. You can see there's no 740 bump there, it's just, just passive. So pretty cool, good spectrum. Good setup on that. So now all we really have left to do is uh, let it warm up and then we'll do the heat reading and wrap it up. All right, we are back and we have let this thing warm up. So let's uh, take a look at the thermal camera here. I don't see any real major hot spots. Looking like 116, 117 on the bars, maybe 118, I think you hit 118 right there, found a hot spot, 116, I swear it said 118 there for a second, so 116 to 118 there, and then the driver looking like 111 
So really not bad. It doesn't really seem like the driver's pushing extra hard. And uh, really not, not, not too much on the bars either. I mean, 117 is not bad at all. Yeah, it's just, it's just warm to the touch. I mean, it's obviously gonna heat up, but yeah. It does a really good job. It's got a lot of aluminum here to uh, dissipate the heat. And this driver doesn't really seem to be working that hard. Yeah, it's just not that hot. 117-ish. So not bad, not bad. Check uh, the links below if you guys want some more info on this. This seems to be a really great option for a 3x3, man. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, share it out to everybody. Till next time, guys. Happy growing.